Kayla Pelham here with KennesawOwls.com here at the Pine Tree Country Club, home of the Kennesaw State men's golf team. After coming off of a phenomenal season last year, the Owls look to kick off another awesome season this weekend. I had the opportunity to sit down with Jimmy Beck, Austin Vick, and Coach Jay Mosley to get their thoughts going into the season. I'm here with golf standout Jimmy Beck. Jimmy, you're coming off of quite the summer getting the fourth seed at the U.S. Amateur. What was that experience like? Uh, it was it was an awesome experience. Uh, just just all in all, it was fun. Um, even though it didn't last as long as I may have wanted, but uh, it was a good experience getting to play against, uh, I guess, the top players in the world. Yeah, and it did come down right to the end, didn't it? It did. To move on to the next uh, round? Uh, yep, just missed my last putt on the 18th hole, so uh, a little disappointing, but uh, at, least, at least I made it that far. Yeah, definitely. Um, and on top of that, you set a ton of records at Kennesaw, really made a name for yourself. Um, going into your final season here at Kennesaw, what are your goals both personally and as a team? Um, you know, I, this whole year I've just been telling myself to have fun. Um, this is my final year of, uh, I guess, just playing freely, not having to worry about, uh, I guess, living or, you know, like making a living, I should say. Yeah. And uh, so it's just all about having fun. Yeah, that's awesome. And you've also helped lead the Owls to an appearance at both the um, conference championship as well as the regionals every year since you've been at Kennesaw. How important is it for you going into this season to capture a conference title or even a regional title? Yeah, it'll, it'll be huge. Um, we haven't done it yet for conference, and uh, now that Mercer and ETSU are out of our conference, uh, those are our two big, biggest competitors. So uh, we, we really hope to do well there, um, but there's always other tournaments like regionals, like you said. If we can win something like that, that'll just be huge. But uh, to get back to nationals and get back into that competition will be, uh, I think, our top priority. Do you think the Owls see a second uh, nationals cha championship? I think so, and I think it'll be a lot better experience this year. Awesome. Great. Well, thank you so much, Jimmy. Thank you. Okay, I'm here with another KSU golf senior, Austin Vick. Austin, you, Jimmy, and Kelby Burton are the returning seniors this year. Going into the season, what's your biggest focus as far as being that senior leader on the team? Um, I really want to get back to the national championship again. I, I know we all do, and we obviously want to perform better than we did last season. And so that's something that we're really going to work forward and, and try and focus really on and hopefully contend and make it a match play at the national championship. And, hopefully give it a better run than we did last year. Yeah, for sure. Uh, what areas can you improve more to make it to that national championship for a second year in a row? It's a lot of little things. Earlier, well, I guess a couple weeks ago, we started talking about uh, really focusing on these, these tournaments building up to the national championship and really just trying to play our best. And our coach has been talking a lot about uh, trying to eliminate big numbers during tournaments. And, that's something that, that a lot of us need to work on, some more than others, but uh, that's definitely one thing that we all want to try and focus on to get better at and improve. And I hear that you have a hot new ride for your games now, a little step up in the van. Tell us a little bit about that. We, Me and Jimmy and, and Kelby have all been really excited about this for the past couple years. We, we thought we were going to get it a little sooner than we did, but now that we finally got it, it really doesn't matter because pretty sweet ride. We got to check it out today and it's, it's unbelievable. And what kind of van is it in? It's a Mercedes van, I believe. Mercedes, nice. So You know you've reached the top when yeah. you're in the Mercedes. <laughs> Alright, great. Thanks, Austin. Thanks. I'm here with KSU golf coach Jay Mosley. Coach, after an outstanding season last year, placing second at the conference championship, second at regionals, making it to nationals, how do you go about topping that season going into 2014, 2015? Well, a couple things, Kayla. Number one, it's exciting to be coming off a great season, but even more so, we've got all those returners back from last year's squad. We didn't lose any players from the championship team for the latter part of the season. And having all those players, you know, really getting a taste of the NCAA championship and having some success late in the year, you know, really kind of catapulted them into a great summer season. By far the best play we've had during the summer of any year that I've ever been a part of the program. And those guys are really excited and anxious to get underway with this season. And you have two newcomers coming in. How confident are you 
and these newcomers and how these seniors that you have returning are going to lead and guide them? They can definitely play. I mean, these, these two, our two freshmen, Wyatt Larkin, and Frederick Nealon were both recruited to make an impact on the program right away. Uh, they've already done so. They've really uh, stepped in well and, and adapted well to to the team as freshmen because you don't always know with, with the new environment and some, some everything is new to them. So you don't always know how quickly freshmen are going to adjust. But uh, Frederick's qualified for our first event and will be making his debut for us. So we're definitely seeing the, uh, the effects of some great new players. Awesome. And you talked about an awesome summer. You actually had the opportunity to be a caddy for Jimmy at the U.S. Amateur. What was that like from a coach's perspective? Was it easy to sit back and kind of let him do his thing, or did you want to coach him the whole time? No, Jimmy's really low maintenance. And what I mean by that is uh, he takes care of business himself. He, he doesn't need a lot of things as a player. So I'm just there really for moral support and, and to you know offer some uh, some guidance here and there, but uh, Jimmy is, is a very polished player. He knows his game really well, and he knows how to, to score and get around and manage his game very well on the golf course. So um, from, from my perspective, it was just, you know, it was just an enjoyable experience just to be there alongside him. Yeah, well, I'm sure he appreciates that coming from his coach. All right, guys, Coach Mulsey. Be sure to log on to KSUOwls.com to follow your Owls as they kick off their season at the Carpet Capital Collegiate in Dalton, Georgia. With KSUOwls.com, I'm Kayla Pelham.